Hello everyone, it's Phil here with another video. In this video we're gonna play around with a 386 computer. I'm using a FX3000 motherboard with a AMD 386DX40 CPU. Um, RAM's upgraded to 8 megabyte of RAM and I'm using a quite modern 80 gigabyte uh, Seagate hard drive. Now that's way too big for this machine to handle. So we're using some software, um, Seagate Drive Manager, 9.56a it's a drive dynamic drive overlay uh, manager and i've got that on a floppy uh, just booting it up and basically you just follow the uh, automatic installation process it's fairly straightforward so the goal is um, i want to install windows 95 and um, uh, a certain version it's the oem version 2.5 that's the latest version of windows um, 95 supporting fat uh, 32. So the plan is to have a single 80 gig uh, hard drive, one partition, FAT32, install Windows 95 on there and basically just to see well how, how well does a 386 uh, run it. Um, now the video, well the raw footage was al almost one and a half hours long but I'll, I'll, I'll use a fast, forward, fast forwarding feature of my video editor to <laughs> skip that bit so you don't have to watch a video that's an hour long. Um, I can tell you so much, I'm quite impressed with how well it runs. Now the installation takes a long time, but once it's installed, um, a lot of modern machines that haven't been looked after take longer to turn on, I can, I can tell you that. And if you just want to write something, type up a document or play some Solitaire or Minesweeper, <laughs> it actually works really well. So here we just uh, finished install, uh, preparing the hard drive with the dynamic drive overlay and we're just booting from a floppy. The reason is I need a floppy to access the CD-ROM drive. Um, and I'm just using a Windows 98 boot disk. Now, the hard drive is already partitioned and formatted. We don't have to do anything. That's all been taken care of. All I'm using this boot floppy for is to access the CD-ROM drive, which then allows me to run uh, the setup of the Windows 95 installation disk. And that's really it. Um, I'm gonna fast forward to the end and then you can just see me using Windows 95 on the 386 a little bit and you get an idea of the of the performance and how well it runs. And in this part you can see me just mucking around with the operating system a little bit. Nothing fancy, just uh, installing Minesweeper and just clicking, looking at some of the options and I'm also doing um, a full reboot, reboot so you can see how long it uh, takes. So this part is real time, it's not sped up. Um, if you're looking for the software I used, the Seagate Drive Manager 9.56a, head to my website, you can download it from there. Um, any questions of feedback just leave them down below in the video uh, on youtube and um yep subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so hit the like button spread the word and yeah hopefully this was interesting enough um it's probably uh, not the most interesting thing to uh, for everyone but those who grew up with the 386 46 era and uh, remember when windows 95 came out uh, you might find this uh, a little bit entertaining